Hey guys! So it is Tuesday at 9.30 and I am here for the weekly live feed. Sorry if I'm a little late. Tegan actually had little problems going to bed, but I am here pretty much on time. And I just wanted to give you guys an update and tell you where I am in the process and yeah, and all the other things that I'm trying to figure out and um, make happen. Um, anyway, I'm being very vague, so let me just start. Um, updates, we had our second uh, ultrasound today, which went, it went well, um, so that suspense is over. But this, this ultrasound we were looking for, so the first ultrasound, we were looking for um, a sac to basically just confirm that we are pregnant, which we got last week. And then this week, we were looking for a larger sac and then a yolk too. So I have visuals. Um, so we have a bigger sac. Maybe I should bring it, wait, hold on. Let me compare <laughs> to last week. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. So this was last week. So you can see the sack size of last week. And then this is this week. So within a week, it grew quite a lot, which is pretty exciting. Um, I will put up a journal entry on these. And also, I did take video of the ultrasound again with the doctor giving kind of the description and the explanation. So that will be up later tonight. I'll put the link on. But yeah. So that was last week, this is this week, so this little guy or girl is growing inside so far, so so far so good, fingers crossed. Um, and then we also see the little yolk, it's hard to see, but anyway, the ultrasound and the checkup today went well. They did not take blood work, I thought they would, because I'm kind of curious about my progesterone levels, um, but they didn't. And then the big one is next week we go back and hopefully we'll see the beginnings of a fetus and a heartbeat, which is a big one. Um, so yeah, so that's the update there. So that's the little little person growing inside. And then other than that, you know, I've been busy. I've been kind of thinking of ways um, of how I can kind of continue this conversation and help the community even more in a different way. I kind of, you know, this whole journey has been kind of showing you my personal journey, and I've been trying to think of ways where I could take the information I've learned and also the resources um, that I've, I've gotten, and also, you know, connect with experts too to kind of create this curated, um, resource for everyone. I know I'm being very vague, but it's in the works and, and it's going to be different than any other kind of fertility or support group or site out there in that it's going to focus on you, not so much on, you know, this is how you, this is what you need to do to get pregnant. This is, it's going to focus on your personal happiness regardless of what happens with the outcome. So it's going to be a little bit of a different take on it. Um, but I think it's going to be really empowering for women. And it's going to give you the strength to, you know, move forward depending on whatever happens. And the biggest thing is to be happy no matter what happens. So I don't know. That is the goal of my um, project coming up. And I will keep you guys updated as that comes through. So other than that, any updates? I am not really having any morning sickness. People keep asking me that. I, I, the only thing is I'm really tired. And this is the same thing that happened to me when I was pregnant with Tegan. I didn't get any morning sickness, but I just got a lot of fatigue. So that's kind of what's going on now. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, thank you, Prim. And I'm trying to think what other updates do I have for you tonight. I, I would say that I was actually thinking about why I said before that I was 
extra nervous this time around with all these like preliminary checkups and each checkup feels like a big deal. I think it's because, you know, I'm more educated now where I feel the first time, you know, I was told I was pregnant and I was just, it was like instant joy, obviously, because I, I had been trying for so long, for over five years. And I didn't, I didn't think to, like that was the biggest hurdle for me. And I was like, ah, oh, I got pregnant and that's it. And I think it was because I was ignorant of all the things that could happen early on. And, you know, I, I did know like the first trimester was definitely the riskiest, but, you know, I didn't quite, I didn't look into it that much where I feel like this time around, I'm definitely more aware of all the things that could or could not happen. And that is why um, I believe I've, I've been a little bit more nervous. I've surprised myself how nervous I've been um, after being told that I was pregnant. I thought it would just, you know, be like last time where I'll just be like on cloud nine and, you know, be super happy. Um, but yeah, for some reason I've been more cautious this time, I should say. But um, I'm taking everyone's advice and staying positive and just focusing on myself and healthy and being healthy and whatnot. But yeah, I thought that was an interesting insight that you think the second time around you'd take it easier because, um, you know, you, you already did it once, but it's like the second time around I'm more educated, so <laughs> I'm actually, it's the opposite. I never thought about that in that way, but yeah. So that's about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and um, yeah, and if you want to contribute any way to the project that I'm working on, or, you know, I want to also reach out to other people to have them share their stories and kind of collect them in a, in a central database so people can always, it could be anonymous, where people can, you know, go back and read other people's stories and be inspired or, you know, feel, just feel like they're not alone and there are other people out there that may or may not be going through the same thing, but, you know, we're all struggling in some way, but we can get stronger from it. Um, if we work together. But anyway, that's it. That's it, guys. Um, and yeah, and for those that are just joining or listening on the replay, feel free to go back to, you know, my journal entries. I, I, I did a pretty good job documenting the whole IVF process and my Facebook live feeds. It's all on my site, jazzkatat.com. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.